Hey, what's going on, guys? It's the video that some of you have been waiting on where we're going to talk about real value of error banknotes, in specific, an offset error on this $100 note. Let's check it out. This is one of those really cool errors you're not going to see too often, but if you come across one of these $100 bills in your pocket money, you're going to be sitting on really, really good value. This is a partial face offset error or face to back offset error, which is pretty straightforward of uh, what this is. If you look at these photos, you can see that on the reverse of this $100 note, which is series 1977, Franklin's depiction is partially printed on the back of the note. So it obscures the picture of Independence Hall, and this thing's worth really, really good money. And the fact that it's in really good condition really helps out the value a lot. These things are super duper rare, as you can imagine, and this bill sold for $490 in auction, which is really stellar for a note that's ungraded, but has such a really, really cool error on it. If you're wondering how this error even happened, banknotes are printed one side at a time, with a sheet of paper placed between the printing plate, with ink on it, of course, and the impression cylinder. The ink from the printing plate is not supposed to touch the impression cylinder, but it can if they come in contact with each other with no paper in between them. When this happens, the impression cylinder ends up with ink intended for the banknote, and the next time that paper touches the impression cylinder, that extra ink can transfer to the notes. It shows up as an inverse or mirror image on the wrong side of the note. I know I would love it, and I think lots of you guys would love to have this note in your collection, but let me know what you think about this offset error in the comments below and what you like to look for in your coin and bill searches. I'll see you there.